about two o'clock <laughs> and this is the day before Thanksgiving and we are about to get started in prepping everything so that tomorrow I'm not having to you know just be getting started okay so I am making a brisket this is I said I was just gonna make whatever was in the beef was in the meat pack so there's a chicken in there and a brisket in there. It's a two pound brisket. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna make this. They are now packaging their own uh, farmed animals. Like congratulations to them, all right? <laughs> we are going to share these cheeses. I didn't really go all out with the cheese this year. Um, just kept it really simple. Some sharp cheddar, Kobe Jack, I got two of those some medium cheddar and some gouda we're just gonna shred that i think i'm gonna also put the macaroni and cheese together um so that i can just put it in the oven tomorrow all right we are going to clean and I chop these greens i got like one two three four five oh it's six it's six bunches of greens i didn't know i got that much and then we're gonna prep the potatoes for the pies i'm also going to make some some sweet potatoes too but um yeah i'm going to prep these and get this together and share i'm just going to share all that all right so yes let's get started but first we're gonna make some tea because yeah we just need some tea some green tea to get the movement moving okay some wildflower honey here I'm just going to add this and this <laughs> and this too. Okay, so we're just gonna let this defrost in this water. Um, with this chicken, it'll probably take at least like two or three hours to defrost, and this will probably be fully defrosted within an hour. And when I get through, once it has defrosted, I'm gonna season it up and everything like that. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started on this cheese. Okay, so we're gonna get started on these cheeses, and I'm grating them by hand. Um, I did not consider. Well, let me say this. This has made me consider to invest in a cheese grater. Granted, I don't make macaroni and cheese enough to be purchasing a cheese grater, you know? But I just know after this, I'm gonna be like, Lord, why? <laughs> but let's go ahead and get started on grating this cheese. Okay, so the cheese is all grated. I'm gonna use half and half. So half of this to make the cheese sauce and then the other half to sprinkle in between the macaroni layers um i use so much colby for its creaminess it's cheese not cheesy flavor but the stretchability um and then the gouda and the cheddar for the taste granted i'm gonna season this up too but yeah we are all good with this Okay, so these sweet potatoes. I'm wondering how y'all be making y'all sweet potatoes for y'all's pie. Do you boil them or do you bake them? You know, however you do it, that's fine. But <laughs> if you don't bake them, you are definitely missing out on a, a element that roasting them. I should say roasting because it's a you're roasting your sweet potatoes that they that it gives to it, but um yeah i love this time of the year because the sweet potatoes be huge all right because the rest of the year they be them little small itty bitty <laughs> what am i supposed to do with that sized uh sweet potatoes but yeah we're gonna wash those and then i'm going to do some other steps i'm gonna share <laughs>
already stemmed the collard greens and I'm gonna put some water over it with a little bit of baking soda and some vinegar and I'm gonna let that sit for like 20 minutes. For two hours because of how big they were and I mashed them up and now I'm about to blend them and I'm gonna put this up for the rest of the night because uh, now it is about seven um, everything else is done um, that I shared earlier I do have to season the meat but I'm going to do that and yeah I'm gonna be done for what I'm doing this evening So we have this little, it's, fairly, it's a fairly small brisket, it's only two pounds, but we have other stuff, lots of other stuff. So I'm going to use some olive oil and season with some sea salt, some Cajun, thyme, steak seasoning, paprika, black pepper, garlic, and onion powder. Um, and then I am going to pressure cook this tomorrow, but I want to go ahead and season this and you know what i'm gonna season it with some al pastor seasoning as well and yes that's it for that okay so yes i'm gonna cover this up and let this sit overnight and in the morning i'm gonna put it in a pressure cooker i'll make a little sauce for this um to cook in as well and yes i have not done the chicken I'm going to spatchcock that and rub a compound butter all over it and I'm going to do that tomorrow because my energy is done for the day okay so yes I will yeah just bye for now y'all